figure it's time for an update on this bamboo war I'm fighting over here. Killing some of it with glyphosate and a good surfactant. Um, the ones I can get it on the leaves, if you can spray it on the leaves, it'll start killing them. And then some of these bigger ones like this, I've, I've been putting it into the trunks and uh, it's, it's, it's been pretty effective. And I've noticed a significant decrease in the amount of shoots I've been having coming up. And I've been spraying the little small shoots as soon as they pop up. But uh, surprisingly enough, I think we're, we're getting somewhere with it. All right, I'll try to show you some carnage. Lots of them that uh, I had cut and started spraying it into the stalks, they just eventually fell over. And then some of them like this one, you can see it yellowed all up and it, all the leaves fell off of it. But then there's another one that's dead crossing it. I mean, there's so much of it in here, it's impossible to kill it all, but I just, I didn't really want to kill it all. I just wanted to kind of knock it back some. And there's another one that fell over. You can see how it's, that's just taking effect on. And then all the leaves are falling off all of these that are, and cutting into here's some more carnage that one just fell over and these are dropped all the leaves and the trunks are starting to yellow and these back here are dying out and that one that one's just split open See, it's, uh, oh, it's working them over. Just roll around it. Good lord. That one right there got tired of taking the punishment and hung itself. I guess it's caught up in those vines. Or maybe it did just hang itself. I don't work on that one. Or maybe I should just leave that up there as a as a reminder to this other bamboo what's gonna happen to it. I, I mean, it's, it's not all gone by any means, but it is significantly suppressed and I've got a lot of it. Everyone died and blew up where we've been shooting the uh, glyphosate into the, to the trunk. And all out in here, I was just having hundreds of uh, shoots popping up in between my visits. And, I mean, there's still a few, this kind of thing here, but that is just significantly reduced. All right, well, I'm happy with that. So this is about a month of uh, spraying glyphosate at a pretty high rate. Uh, with a with a glyphosate specific surfactant and uh, on the leaves where I can get to the leaves and also into the into the holes in the trunk on some of them it's uh it's got with it more so than I thought it would but I what I more was hoping it would do was suppress a lot of these uh, shoots I had coming up and it, it has definitely done that and then I've also, like I said, when the small shoots come up, I've been hosing those down, but. A lot of carnage. Open up a fishing pole store in here. All right, this is the uh, surfactant I'm using with the glyphosate on the bamboo. It, uh, has an oil in it to help it penetrate and then it also has something in it to drop the pH. Uh, glyphosate likes to operate in a lower pH and it will last longer in your tank mix too. This has been really helpful too for my just my day-to-day -day glyphosate spraying in the uh, in the lawn care side you know the maintenance side 
because the glyphosate, glyphosate, glyphosate stays effective in the tank longer and it's more effective and faster when you spray it too with this good oil-based uh, surfactant in it. Quad fire from Heron. Get you some. All right, we got this uh, Bermuda in the back here. It, oh, sorry. <laughs> It's uh, got some sedges and uh, some other things going on in it, but mainly sedges. We're gonna go out with a uh, monument at a half ounce an acre on it. So I'm gonna load that up in the permagreen. We'll go look at the grass, look at some of the weeds we got, and uh, talk about monument for a little bit. Stay tuned. I forgot to bring my selfie stick thing back here. This is Bermuda grass. I've got a lot of sedge and stuff in here. I did not mow it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray. I got some, uh, I see Kalinga, I see different types of nut sedge, and there is a little crab grass in it. But uh, Monument is excellent on sedge, it's great for Bermuda grass. So uh, I'm gonna just turn it around and show you some of these things and uh, check it out. Monument is going to be my best uh, thing to go after most of this stuff with. It's like more uh, Kalinga sedges. All kinds of action in here. All right, let's give it a shot. I forgot to bring my tripod back here, so didn't get any action shots. Keep in mind this monument is hard as Chinese math on uh, fescue or any cool season grass. It's a great uh, tool to take fescue, cool season grass, centipede, uh, overseeded uh, uh, ryegrass out of Bermuda. It's also good on zoysia as far as you can use it on zoysia and it won't kill it. But I uh, take uh, centipede out of zoysia, that kind of thing. Centipede out of Bermuda. And uh, hopefully sedge is out of Bermuda. So, Got it knocked out. Monument. I almost left this out. What's the point of getting here in the computer grass? Unless you're going to give us some carbon. I said you just got to go with the Alright, Monument is uh, Trifloxy Sephuron, I think, uh, is the main AI in it goes out at a very low rate it's a half ounce per acre and you put it out with a good uh, non-ionic surfactant uh, again i'll tell you, you you do not want to not rinse your tank and go out on centipede or fescue following a monument application even if you think you've got it emptied out you need to scrub your tanks wash them out before you go on uh, any kind of grass that monument would be harmful to. It goes with all these really low rate, high powered sulfonylureas. But uh, there you go, monument app with the permagreen. Got a industry insider spy secret to share with you guys. I hope it's all right. He didn't say not to but I've got uh, spy photos of the new and improved Carbon X bag. Carbon X and X Green is gonna be coming in a new bag from right here in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, but it's a much heavier duty bag and it has a, like a pocket insert so you can put uh, you know, different information in it for you when it goes out. But uh, I've got the, uh, the spy photo of the uh, first uh, prototype experimental new and improved heavier duty super badass carbon x and x green bag i just wanted to get this uh monument app in the video so i can follow up in a week or so and we can see what kind of uh success we've had with it and i was I was happy about the bamboo action, so I wanted to get that uh, documented for uh, prosperity. Oh, how you say that? Posterity? All right, anyway. <laughs> All 
Oh, I'm glad I amused myself. Anyway, that's just a little bit of what I had going on today. And uh, we'll follow up on some of these things and uh, see how they're going. And we got the Carbon X out on the uh, Bermuda grass too. But that's kind of a every couple few week thing for, for that stuff anyway. I've been, been nailing it. It's been, been doing good. If it just rained normal, I'd say it again. Uh, we'd have a jungle back there. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you were able to stick through the whole thing. Picked up some valuable information, that kind of stuff. All right, we'll see you next time. Stay cool, boys. <laughs>